We're going to talk about using pictures to add. This is lesson 5.7. We can use pictures of models to help us add numbers by circling a group of 10 in the ones place. When we see enough ones to make a 10, we regroup them and count the circle as a 10. If we want to add 27 plus 25, we see we have two tens right here and seven ones for the 27. We have two tens and five ones for the 25 and we can group this 5 and this 5 together because 5 plus 5 makes 10. We can circle it as another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens and two ones. See? We regrouped these ones as a 10. We put it over here. See? We have the two ones in the sum that were left over. So let's try circling these from a picture to help us add, okay? We're going to add 17 plus 13. So we have a 10 and 7 ones for the 17 and we have a 10 and 3 ones for the 13. We need to see if we can make a 10 out of these ones and circle a group of 10. So we have 7, 8, 9, 10. We can use all the ones to make a new 10. We can circle all of these ones. See? Because 7 plus 3 is 10. Now we have 1, two, three tens. We regrouped these ones as a ten. We can add it to the tens place, can't we? And that gave us the three tens. How many ones do you see left over outside the circle? None. So we have zero ones left. So 17 plus 13 equals 30. Let's try it again. We're going to add 32 plus 19. For 32, we have three tens and two ones. For 19, we have one ten and nine ones. We're going to circle the picture of ten, ones to make a new ten. We have nine here because that's a 19, right? We have one ten and nine ones. We can take one of the ones from the 32 and circle it and make a 10. Now that we made a 10, we can add it to the tens place, that one 10 we made. We counted ones. There's only one left, isn't there? We count our tens. One, two, three, four, five. And three plus one plus one is five. See? Let's try it again. We've got 56 plus 27. For 56, we have five tens and six ones. For 27, we have two tens and seven ones. We're going to circle some ones to see if we can make a new 10. We have five here and five here. So we know that five plus five is 10. We can circle this five together with this five and make a 10. Now that we've made a new 10, we can add it to the tens place, that one ten we made. How many ones are left over? One, two, three. So we put a three in the ones place. How many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And five and one is six, seven, eight. Yeah, we did it right. Let's try it one more time. We're going to do 24 plus 19. So for 24, we have two tens and four ones. For 19, we have one ten and nine ones. If we have nine ones here already, we can just take one from here, can't we? And circle it and group it with the nine. That made a ten. Now that we made a new ten, we can add it to the tens place. How many ones are left over? One, two, three. 
How many tens do we have? One, two, three, four. One plus two is three, plus one more is four. We have 43, okay? So it's pretty much the same as what we were doing, but now instead of moving models around, we just circle the ones that make a 10 and regroup it and add it to the tens place, okay? Let's try some problem solving. Tala walked 17 blocks, Emma walked 16 blocks. How many blocks did Tala and Emma walk all together? So we think we need to circle the important information. So Tala was 17, Emma was 16, and it says how many blocks did Tala and Emma walk all together? And the word all together means add. We're putting them all together. So this is an addition sentence we're going to make. Or an equation, an addition equation, right? And we can stack the 17 on top of the 16 and add them, right? We put the 17 on top of the 16 to add them. We add the ones place first. We start with the larger number 7 and count on the 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We regroup the 1 from the 13 to the tens place and put the 3 in the ones place. Now we add the tens place, 1, 2, 3. And we know we need to label our word problems, don't we? So it'd be 33 blocks. We have to make sure we add the label to it. It said, how many blocks did Tala and Emma walk all together? 33 blocks. See? Did we answer what it was asking? Yeah, we did. So we know they walked 33 blocks. Remember to circle the important information. Remember to look for the clue words that tell you if it's an addition or subtraction sentence. And remember to label your answer, okay, when you do a word problem. So you can use pictures to help you add, and you can regroup your ones to be a new 10 and add it to the tens place, okay? We're going to continue on talking about two-digit numbers in addition, and I'll see you next video. Bye.